There are two forms of contract recommended by the Queensland Law Society. They are the Houses and Residential Land, 12th edition, and the Residential Lots in a Community Title Scheme, 8th edition. You should read the contract in detail. The reference schedule contains the particulars relevant to your contract. You must check they are accurate and tell us as soon as possible if they are not. In Queensland, time is of the essence of a contract. This is a legal term that means you must perform your obligations strictly by the due date. For example, you must be able to settle by 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on the settlement date, otherwise the seller may terminate or seek enforcement of the contract. In both cases, the seller may claim compensation for, from you. The contract provides that if anything is to be done on a day that is not a business day, it must be done on the next business day. Under the contract, business days are days other than public holidays in the place named in the contract for settlement. Any day in the period 27 December to 31 December are inclusive and Saturdays and Sundays. The contract provides that at settlement you must pay interest on any late payment from the due date for payment until the payment is made. Interest accrues at the default interest rate noted in the reference schedule of the contract or if no rate is specified at the contract rate fixed by the Queensland Law Society. If a party is not able to meet their settlement obligations because of a natural disaster, for example, the January 2011 South East Queensland floods, then in certain limited circumstances, time will no longer be of the essence. The party affected must make all reasonable efforts to minimise the effect of the natural disaster on its ability to perform its settlement obligations. When the natural disaster no longer prevents performance of settlement obligations, there are notices that must be served to make time once again of the essence. If this becomes relevant, we will advise you. The suspension of time will then end and both parties are obliged to settle on the date stated in the notice. Payment of the deposit is a sign of your intention to proceed with the contract. It is usually a substantial amount but no more than 10%. The deposit is generally held in trust by an agent or lawyer until settlement, and following settlement, the deposit will be paid to the seller unless there is a default or termination. Generally, a deposit is held in the trust account of either a real estate agent or lawyer. If the deposit is not held in trust, there is a risk that the seller or deposit holder may go bankrupt and into receivership and that you will not recover all of the deposit. If you terminate the contract for a valid reason, then the deposit should usually be repaid to you. If you do not pay the deposit on time or otherwise breach the contract, the seller may be able to terminate the contract or seek an order from the court requiring you to settle. The seller may also keep your deposit and recover any part of the deposit not already paid. If the seller is obliged to pay GST, then GST will apply to the kept deposit. The seller may also be entitled to compensation, which may include commission payable to the real estate agent. Mm -hmm.